Number 10. Your cat's sleeping position means part three. Mew often sleeps in a tight ball with her tail curled around her body. Cats do this to conserve body heat and to protect their vital organs. In the wild, this position also helps cats blend into their surroundings, making it difficult for predators to see them. Number nine. As Mila grows, I notice she has taken to the classic kitty loaf. Aside from being the cutest of the sitting positions, the loaf provides cats with additional warmth. Cats have a higher internal body temperature than humans, so they prefer environments that are a little warmer than we do, and the loaf can help them retain body heat. This position also indicates a happy cat. If your cat loafs near you, it means they feel safe, comfortable, and relaxed. Do you have a loaf cat? Let us know in the comments. Number eight. I bought Mila this scratch toy recently because she has been digging her nails into my actual flesh and I'm hoping to move that behavior to a toy instead of my skin. But she has no idea how to use it. Can you put your paws there? Come here. Let me see them claws. Maybe if I play with the toy, she'll get interested. Look how much fun I'm having. Look how much fun I'm having. How do you get your cat interested in a new toy? Let us know in the comments. Number seven. What your cat's sleeping position means, part two. The bellies up is Mila's second favorite way to sleep. Now, this position is the ultimate show of trust from your cat as they are fully vulnerable to potential predators. Does your cat sleep with their belly up? Let us know in the comments. Number six. I wish I was a cat. No school. No works, just meow meow. Number five. Today we had a breakthrough on Mila's travel training and I am so excited to tell you about it. We've been taking daily walks in her backpack for a while now and she quickly got used to being in her harness. So today I wanted to try and give her a little more freedom and let her ride around outside of the bag like those cool influencer cats we all see on the internet. Here's how I did it. I put her harness on her, attached the harness to the leash inside the backpack, then closed the front panel and let the top open. Now leaving the top panel unzipped can be risky because if she slips out of her harness, she can jump right out of the bag. So we walked around my enclosed courtyard at first for a while to make sure there was no opportunities for escape. After confirming she was firmly attached to the bag, it was time to go out on the street. I was nervous, but Mila was excited and engaged. I opened the door and we were out in the world. At first, she was riding around my back, but that felt a little unstable. So I shifted her backpack to the front and she sat on my chest and on the top of the bag. We walked around town for about 30 minutes like this. We were mostly met with smiles and slightly confused looks as this isn't something people usually see in- Number four. I found an app that will translate your cat's noises to words. So let's see what Mila's saying. The app is called Meow Talk. It's free. You set up a quick little profile for your cat and you click the button when they start talking. I'm what? Let what? The suspense is killing me. Didn't need an app to tell me that. <laughs> Number three. Like most people, I make my bed every morning. However, recently, I started to arrange my pillows in a very specific way because Mila has found a new favorite place to sleep, and that is in her pillow fort. Cats like to sleep between pillows for a few reasons. First, pillows are warm, soft, and comfy, and that's really what we all want when we're tired, right? Also, being surrounded by pillows mimics a cat's den, which helps them feel safe while they're resting. Number two. Number one. 